Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Sneaker Jacks, your 75th favorite sneaker YouTuber here again to do actually not a uh, to do my actual first, very first sneaker review. And what I got here is been very fortunate that I ended up getting a pair of the Air Jordan One High OG hand crafted these are set to release i think next week on the 18th or 19th of december but knowing how jordan brand is sometimes we really don't know um this shoe gives me biohack vibes big time now i will let you know this shoe here, the materials are crazy, bro. The materials are super crazy. Pretty much everything that's in white is a very pretty decent leather. Not, not the best. Not shattered backboard leather, but pretty decent. But every other color, I guess what they would call this maroon, is a Nubuck suede, very smooth. Also the brown, Nubuck suede. The green here. On the laces and then the brown here on the collar and then a distressed looking Jordan brand logo now it's very well stitched in but I think the outer part they purposely made it distressed looking uh, very good very good um, I think moved by Jordan Brand on this. The design of this shoe is really, really awesome. And from what I see here, this gray part here looks like 3M. It, 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 it's a possibility that's 3M. I'm getting these uh, little reflective lights on it. Um, very nice shoe. Um, like I said, I get biohack vibes on this. It's got, you know, typical padded tongue. And it comes with... Huh, this is interesting. Double laces. This is pretty tight, bro. So what it looks like is the black and pink laces. Oh, man, this is pretty awesome, dude. I really, really wasn't expecting this. Uh, pink and black laces for a double lace look on kind of like the Union Vibes. Right, kind of the view union Jordan ones with the double laces, and then the shoe also comes with spare, kind of like uh, I guess you could say white, white and black laces. Again, black lace, white and black laces on the shoe. Let me see this other shoe. Yeah, this other shoe also has the pink, pink and black double lace look. This is pretty hype, man. This is pretty tight. You know, not bad. Oh, also, can't can't forget this. Man. This is unique, too. Kind of reminds me of the Ama Manier Jordan 1s that just came out. It's got that quilted pattern in the, um, I guess, sock liner. And also, wow. The insole. The insole, as well, is quilted and, and um, padded. Hmm. Too bad it's a ten and a half. I would have loved to put this on feet to get a chance to feel that quilted pattern because it's very padded, and the and also the collar as well. I think this would be possibly be a very comfortable Jordan One, considering Jordan One really doesn't have the that tech for comfort. But this would look like to be a pretty decent, uh, comfortable Jordan One. And then of course black. I like it when they have the black soles. Keeps them, make, it, it makes them look cleaner. You know, doesn't get as dirty. Doesn't seem to be as dirty. But I'm kind of interested on this little, could be 3M. Let me check it out. Let me give it a quick look here. I'm doing this all one take 
I'm new to the game. I don't know none of the video editing. Let's see here. Let me check it out. Flash. Yeah, it's 3M. See if you guys will be able to see it. That gray part is definitely 3M. So what you have here is new buck suede. And in, in here in the toe box as well, you see you get some of that um, some of that 3M on the outline on the toe box. Toe box pretty good, pretty nice leather. Let me get that new buck suede here. And you get that on the side panel, you get that leather as well. But right here, that gray right here is definitely 3M. Definitely 3M. And the swoosh, the very important swoosh, is a new book suede as well. Very nice shoe. To be honest, this is a very, very well put together shoe. I don't see as many flaws. I don't see any glue stains or any glitter from the 3M. In any bad stitching, I don't. I don't really see anything. Like I, I'm not a surgeon. I don't look deep that deep in the detail of the shoe. I leave that to tops. Congrats, tops. You got the title of that, bro. But other than that, this is a very dope shoe. Um, right now, I think the resale's value is like around three fifty to four hundred dollars, uh, depending on where you go and what sizes. But um, I'm actually impressed with this shoe. Uh, definitely getting my size when it comes out. Um, yeah, definitely a must cop for Jordan one head. Now, a lot of people are not very much big Jordan one heads, but for me, I, I pretty much cop almost every Jordan one, unless it's a piece of trash. Um, but yeah, they did a thing on this shoe. And I think this shoe, this shoe, I mean, numbers wise, I mean, it depends, you know, some people don't like the different patterns on the shoes on their Jordan ones, but this is a really nice, well put together shoe. I think this is a sleeper shoe, a late, late in the year sleeper shoe for Jordan brand. But, um, but yeah, so I know not many people have this shoe yet. I'm actually pretty fortunate to have it in my collection. And um, yeah, this is definitely a must cop for me. So um, I hope this video was informative to you guys, um, at least gives you guys a, a look at the shoe before you know it releases to see if you guys actually want the shoe or not but i in my opinion this is a dope shoe uh i showed it to my friends earlier today and they were they were pretty stoked about it um but again um my name is sneaker jacks you can reach me at an instagram at, at sneaker jacks um and other than that everybody be safe i know cool gray 11s are coming out I'm doing a giveaway. I have a video on my channel. So please take a look, follow the instructions, and uh, have a blessed one, guys. Thank you very much. Peace.